fake time's over. We restore our strength! It's on. You had your chance to escape. your strength here, child. What has been set in motion cannot be undone. You... you have the power to stop this, mother! A debt of blood is owed, and a debt of blood shall be paid. Cathar will rise. There's no convincing her. You know what you have to do. I think you got him. Let's see if they have an answer for this. They do not stand a chance.
the slaughter. They are committed to the darkness. Sarah, my sister. It's been far too long. Don't speak as if you know me, demon. You haven't been my sister for centuries. It saddens me to hear you say that. But there's still time for you to see things his way. No one calling themselves a Midnight Sun will ever join your corrupted ranks. I promise you that. That's your story. something. More of them are joining the fight. They have not lost focus yet. Lilith may have found the one man. long enough to fully restore it. The banner's been nothing but trouble since this whole thing started. We both know what it is like to have a power that others desire, Blade. Maybe, but I don't rip my clothes off and go berserk whenever I'm in a bad mood. Welcome assistance.
Stark should have just nuked this place from orbit. You know he's got one somewhere. We have enough problems with the Hulk as it is. I doubt that would calm his temper. I say we do it anyway. Burn them all! Get ready. Have my thanks.
are being reinforced. Still they persist. You were too weak for this fight. Accept your fate. You doomed yourself by association. Hell has chosen you. No mercy for the servants of Willow. Your mother abandoned you. Put this to the news. Burn in hellfire. With those powers, I would have guessed you were aligned with Lilith. Time's up for these jumps. Give the mother my regards in hell. Additional Hydra forces en route. Get ready. They're not shaking their confidence. Barrier is still holding. 
Liber Tenebris reverses as Nobi. Get out of there, now! You've done more than anyone could ask. Almost. Yo, demon lady! One thing before we go. This is for Johnny Blaze. No! The spell must not be interrupted! Mother. Your mother died centuries ago. Now get out of there! Book club tonight. You in? Meet you there. See you there. I like this book, but I can't explain why. Maybe I'll figure it out as we discuss it. I should not be this nervous about what you all thought of the book. Even the best translation... Everyone... I'm good if you are. I am ready. 
Carol, this was your book, so you can start. I'll throw it back to you. What did you think of the book? I had a rough time with it. You didn't like it? Didn't say that. At first I spent more time referencing the glossary than reading the book. Sounds familiar. What changed? I noticed a kind of rhythm to the words. I began to see them as lyrics to a song. All that dry talk faded and it finally came together. The lyrics made it feel much bigger than a chapter on Cree farming implements. Agreed. As though there was a song behind the words. Nice. Unless it was disco. You're lucky you missed out on that decade. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Once I caught on, I kept reading and didn't rely on the glossary. I picked everything up from context. That's when I realized none of this was about farming. I'm surprised how much stuck with me, despite some concepts being legit alien to me. Agreed. For me, the rhythm wasn't lyrics. It was more like the book was written to a cadence. That's why I had you read it on your spark. The mnemonic lexicon won't work with a hard copy. The what now? An ancient Cree technique. It helps you remember text that would otherwise be considered... There's no Cree word for stuffy, but essentially that. But all that's packaging. Let's get into the book itself. Uh, Hunter, did you figure out what the bloom and the harvest represent? The bloom is poorly defended territory behind enemy lines. The harvest is when you strike that territory and then fade away. That's an important aspect, but it's more than just an attack strategy. It's about what comes after. At the time of the book's writing, the Kree cared most about integrating captured territory while still expanding their empire. Conquered worlds came with people. Rather than treat them as prisoners, the Kree provided them with most benefits enjoyed by Kree citizens. This period is known as the Cultivation. So the bloom was when they gained full citizenship under their conquerors? No, it's when the world requested it. As long as they could feed themselves with Cree farming techniques and defend their world with Cree defenses, the request was granted with few exceptions. So what's the harvest? As part of the service required by the Empire, many of these new citizens began the cultivation of freshly conquered worlds. So they were living examples. Show the newly conquered what they could achieve if they went along with the Empire. That's also how vampires work. Carol, I think I pieced together the Cree strategy. Do tell. It's all tied to agriculture. Every soldier knows you can't fight if you can't eat, but they applied this to their expansion. Till the field, sow the seed, pull the weed, reap the crop. It means the Cree wouldn't advance until the territory they took was secure and productive. What about Hoist the Scarecrows? Was that line not in your copy? Actually, the section on the empty towers describes their version of the Scarecrow. Due to constant shuffling of personnel, you couldn't tell which bases were fully staffed and which stood empty. What if they had not done that? They would have had no soldiers to continue their advance. It would have stalled them out. But the Kree expansion had momentum. They could afford to push harder because their whole weight was behind the advance. Unless a world could push just as hard, it would eventually fall under Kree control. Carol, how was that? Close enough to impress me. The strategy in Volume 32 wasn't perfect, but... It worked out for the Kree far more often than it failed. What happened when it failed? That's covered in Volume 33. And that's Book Club. Steve, you're up next. What's your book? The Mantle of Authority, by General Chester Phillips. Is this the one you keep saying I should read? The very same. Now you have to. It's Book Club. Before I forget, I... I hope you enjoy the book I chose. Why do you say that? It's about people who weren't around until after your death. But I'm sure you'll figure out the context. So why choose this book? 
Volume 30 was way too spicy for this crowd. Go on. I'm kidding. It's relevant to what we're facing today. Hydra, the Lilin, your mom. They seem to have the upper hand all over the world. The Kree never conquered this planet. Neither will my mother. Exactly. Reputation makes you seem bigger than you are. We can hit them anywhere at any time. You can bet this adds to our own reputation. And that's how we defeat our enemy. As long as we're still standing, they're gonna fall. Okay, just between us, Carol's book was extremely weird, right? I should read the first 31 volumes for context. You should not, nor should you read the one after this. How many more are there? At least 400. According to Carol, this was one of the good ones. You cannot let her know what you really think. Really? I don't care to lie, especially to someone I'm into. You do not need to lie, but you can deflect. Just do not offer your unvarnished opinion. I don't know. She seems to respect people who are upfront with her. Why take that risk? Maybe you're right. Thanks, Hunter. Of course. You leaving? Soon. I think there's more... You headed out? I'm taking off. Later then. Great choice, Carol. Good meeting. I'm glad you liked the book. Yeah, it was different. Hey, I know we have another book to read, but do you have any free time beyond that? I could find some time. Good, because I want to hear your thoughts on Volume 50. What now? Volume 50 of the Kavat Koth. It's entirely about Cree agricultural practices, but it builds on the metaphor. It's essential reading before Volume 89. Volume 89? Yep. Small unit tactics in zero gravity environments. It's a real page turner. Sounds like it. So, do you have time to read them? I. Yeah. He's close, Hunter. Kathon is slithering his way into this dimension. I can feel it. Great. When you're done, we can talk about it. Like a mini book club. Great. I'd be interested too. Great. Maybe we should ask everyone. Oh, the hunter's real busy. No time to read about space corn. That's a shame. Isn't it though? Wanda. There's something I ought to say to you. Oh? You were... The mysterious structure, which has I been described as a may isn't watching this because she's going to flip. ...has suddenly appeared in the war-torn Republic try to of Transia, stop it, but... We screwed up, Robbie. It's Wonder okay, you can say it. Doesn't matter who screwed up. What matters is that we're screwed. ...on every social media outlet with the hashtag ApocalypseWow. We're in the end game now. Oops, you're bad. Let me guess, you came to rub it in? 
tell me the Midnight Suns are just a bunch of Hero Academy dropouts who are in over their heads? I'm not here to rub anything in. I came here to say, I thought what you did back there was brave. And bold. <laughs> yeah, right. You mean brave and stupid? You weren't being stupid. You did what you thought was right. Sometimes, we can do everything in our power to stop a bad thing from happening and still fall flat on our faces. Just keep your chin up and remember, failure is an essential part of the superhero gig. I mean, look at me. I haven't exactly been batting a thousand these days, but that doesn't seem to have slowed down my ego any. Uh, well, wait. Are you, like, actually being nice to me? Well, nothing like impending doom to bring people together. But seriously, I admire what you tried to pull off back there. It took a lot of guts. Maybe next time, you'll get the glory. Thanks, Tony. Any Yay, we did. Ugh, the first time we're actually trusted to sit in the driver's seat, the first freaking time, and we couldn't stop her. We dropped a mountain on her head, and Lilla still managed to summon the Temple of Cathod. <sighs> Way to go, team! It is not the end of the world, Nico. Yes, it is! Like, it's literally the end of the world! The Temple of Cathan is here, and soon giant flying squid god will come to feast on all of our souls. Nico, I am not going to let that happen. Chosen one, remember? <laughs> the world really must be ending because both you and Stark are being nice to me? What did he say? Oh, yes. Nothing like an apocalypse to bring people together. No, there's not. All right, I'm gonna stay out here a while and lick my wounds for a little bit longer. Thanks for, uh, checking up on me. Anytime. I see you and Caretaker are on the mend. Seems so. I should be happy about it. But how can I be happy about anything when the Temple of Cathan is wreaking havoc on my home? I grew up in Transia, you know. In a remote village at the foot of Mount Wondercor. It's all destroyed now. Along with those poor people's lives. The casualties Transia has suffered these last few days. We will avenge each and every one of them. I really hope we can. It is not a matter of can, Wanda. We must. The world depends on it, literally. Whatever it takes to stop your mom, right? Whatever it takes. I'm afraid of her, you know. Of seeing her. I mean, what if it happens again? What if she turns me back into bad Wanda? What if I... <sighs> go dark? There is a reason my mother wanted you. Oh, yeah? I'm not so sure that's a good thing. Just embrace who you are. That's the last thing most of the people here think I should do. Maybe so, but it is the only way to gather the courage it will take to face Lilith again. And survive. So, like, fight her darkness with mine? Well, I did not quite say that. Yeah, you did. And I appreciate it. Thanks. I needed that kind of resolve. Ah, well. I ought to get back to the news. See what new horrors are befalling my hometown. Do not watch too much of it. The overconsumption of news media is supposed to be bad for your mental health. Especially during an apocalypse. There are worse things for your mental health, Hunter. And I'm pretty sure I've experienced them all. I'll take my chances with a little cable news. Night.
You have gone too far, mother. I could say the same to you, child. Leaving me for dead and buried under that mountain. What a way to treat your mother. Next time I will use a bigger mountain. Say what you must, but I saw the hesitation in your eyes. Besides, you won't get another chance. The Darkhold is finally complete. The prophecy draws to its close. The Midnight Sun is coming, and with it, him. We will all have our final parts to play. Will you be ready when the curtain rises? When the time comes, my hand will not hesitate. I pray it does not. You have come a long way, child. Standing before me with such... conviction. Such belief. You look a lot like him, you know. What? Wait, I thought we could not talk about him here. Ugh, oh, God, no, not him. Him. Your father. I have never heard of you speak of him, until now. We close upon the end of a billion years prophecy. Forgive me if I am a bit... sentimental. I sometimes wonder if I could bring his soul to this place. To have him stand once more beside me. Beside us. I implore you, do not. In his death, he has been spared the sight of the foul creature you have become. I envy him for that. What? No snappy comeback? Promises that we shall be reunited under the glorious eye of the Midnight Sun? No, child. Not this time. Agatha? I'm sorry to intrude, dear. Do you have a moment? For you? Of course. You always came to me for advice when vexed by a difficult problem. Never Sarah. That is called playing one parent against the other. Oh, I know. And I always gave advice Sarah would have given. If you hadn't both quarreled over every tiny thing. I thought so. Was she there, but invisible? Did she whisper your advice through lost sorceries of the blood? Of course not. Hunter, we spoke about you constantly. The weight of prophecy should never fall on a child. So we tried to give you room to be your own person. Well, I had no idea. Um, what did you want to discuss? I don't know how to say this without sounding melodramatic, but... Despite our actions, the prophecy unfolds. Cathan's return seems inevitable. Yet all I can do for the people I love is... haunt a library and play macabre tour guide. Agatha... I should be here with Sarah and yourself, helping to bring the team together. But I never have felt more... useless. Oh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I'll leave you to your rest. Agatha, wait. Good night. Agatha. Hunter, I'm coming in. Where is she? I heard you speaking with her. I am surprised you can hear Agatha. Then you don't deny it? Why would I? Especially to you. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why didn't you tell Caretaker? Nobody would have believed me. I would have believed you. Only if you knew me enough to trust me. Clearly, 
We aren't there yet. That is exactly my point. So what now? Next time I see her, I will tell her. And then, hopefully, the three of us will talk. <sighs> All right. I'm trusting you, Hunter. Good night. No! Oh, how can this be? You have vanquished me once again. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Kicking it with the legendary hunter. And kicking said legendary hunter's ass at a fighting game. This is an outrage. I demand a rematch. Are you sure? I've already beaten you twice. Three out of five. You realize that you'll need to win the next three matches to beat me. Just press that Forsaken Restart button already. Okay, but I'm not going easy on you, Hunter. You're way too good for that. I am good now, huh? Yeah, just not at this game. Hunter? This isn't the first team I led. Oh, you are gonna love this. Hey, Doc, I was thinking, what if you or Magic opened up a portal and I could create a large-scale moving platform? How's it going, boss? Can't for the light, man. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Oh, and I was just about to binge watch my stories. This was prized by many powerful figures over the millennia. Now, this is magic. Forge is a powerful tool. So, do you have much experience with sniffing? Perhaps you should put your suit on for this. This forge fire is something special. I assume through some sort of... The research is progressing well. See you, Hunter. Interesting. I 
still can't believe it. What don't you believe, Robbie? That our plan failed. We can. Hey, can I ask a favor? MJ, can you please drive by May's house and make sure she's okay? If she turned on the news, she's probably scared. I know you're upset too. Everyone's in the same boat. She won't want you to be making a fuss, so come up with an excuse as to why you're there. Maybe bring her some cookies. She loves oatmeal raisin. Oh, and she probably won't be going out to get her paper, so can you collect the Daily Bugles and bring them in? Maybe check to see if they're running any Spider-Man headlines and ditch those. I can't say when I'm coming back. Hopefully soon? Yes, I'm in a safe place with good people. You can tell that to May, too. MJ, I'm gonna be fine. Promise. Are you hearing this? It's adorable. Art is very subjective. Who am I to judge? Not a bad place to be posted. All this excitement has really got me thinking about forming a team of my own. I apologize for not having the bandwidth to speak last night. My mind has been spinning. You do not need to apologize to me, or anyone else. Yes, yes, I know you're right. There's no excuse. I must pull myself together. At any moment, my sister will unleash Cathan upon the planet. Yet Wanda is back in the library, reading as if we were back to normal, before... Agatha passed. Half of me wishes she was here, so I could ask her for guidance. For a way out of this mess. And the other half? Is glad she's not alive to endure the horrors of what a Cathan reign would bring. Still, I wonder what she would say if she was here. Well, I know she would not want you to throw in the towel before the fight is finished. No, she wouldn't. She would want us to give it every ounce of strength we have left. Then let us do just that. Let us kick Lilith's ass back to hell. Show her who is the better sister. I've been wanting to do that since third grade. The blood had third grade. I meant that figuratively. Ah, I need to get my head together. Now that the Temple of Cathan is revealed, our options are dwindling.